Less time on game grabs. I don't care anymore. He I drank. don't care. Then leave. Yeah, please, please, Adrian. Who cares how much 7-Up he drank? <laughs> Get out of there. I'm going to bed. Hey, I'm Dan. I'm also Dan. Dan. With Brian Wecht. Hello and welcome to the finale wow. of Phantasmagoria with our good friend Brian Wecht. Hi everybody. It's been quite a ride. How's it has been, been fun. I have enjoyed this spooky, spooky yes, story. Very spooky, kind of gross. Yeah, a little bit gross. A little, it's, little sexy at times. Uh, occasionally sexy. It's It's got a little bit of everything. It's got... Fun, fun gameplay for the kids. Little romance for mom. Little something for dad, and uh, <laughs> uh, murders for the creepy uncle. <laughs> as, I, as I mentioned last time, uh, I'm gonna play through this with Audrey, my eight year old, as you should, and and see what she thinks. We're starting our own Let's Play channel, great, uh, in which we play NC17 video games. Oh, that's not cool. Here we go. The chapter is finished. Uh, Time for the final two chapters. I'm very excited. Well, what's the equivalent of NC-17 for video games? 9.20 a.m. Very specific. <laughs> well, we're really getting down to it. Sorry, 9.20, blaze it. Yeah. Blaze it plus five. Brian, please. I guess it, minus. We have to watch Adrian brush her hair 3,000 more times. You brush 100 times in one direction and then 100 times in the other. <laughs> She's putting on nose lipstick. It's where you put lipstick around your nostrils to really emphasize them. I don't think that's a thing. It is definitely a thing. 920. Blaze it. Yes, see? You're I right. Couldn't agree You're right. More. I couldn't not I say that. Oh, no. Eddie Vedder? <laughs> I've been drinking! <laughs> <laughs> Let's see his face. Is his face all fucky? Nope. Adrian. He looks more rocking with the hair out. Yep, I agree. I just hit the whiskey a little too hard last night. That's all. Don, let's leave. Please. We've got to get out of here. Look at this. This place is doing to you. I've seen a million terrible things, and I'm not going to tell you about any of them. <laughs> this is our home, Adrian. We can never leave this place. Hold on, I'll get it! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, take that. What is that? <gasps> Don killed Ralph. Oh. That's a good band name piece of shit. I'm sure he might have had a good reason. Oh, what do you want? Hi. Yeah, um, I don't care about the damn phone. I'll get out of here as soon as I can. All right, fine. Get in here and fix it. And then you leave. Not before you make love to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what we do here at Cuck TNT. <laughs> Uh, very large fire? Why not? Son of a bitch. Was that the caller? Yeah. Why would she do that? Well, I mean, what else is there to do with it? Save it as evidence? It was on his person. I... I don't know. I, I question I... her decisions. <laughs> That's all, I'm saying. all right. Here, let's... We've got to go to the chapel, mm. which is through the fireplace. You know the drill. Yep, the usual. <laughs> Adrian. Ralph. Is that you? <laughs> yes, it's me, Adrian. <laughs> I've been watching you. I'm here. I still have eight lives remaining. I could never talk to you in real life, but in this space, anything is possible. <laughs> Adrian, a dark presence has been unleashed into our world. Are Hold you on. familiar with Meow Mix cat food? <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> okay. 
The evil book? Yep. So that's the book with the real magic? Yeah, that's the that's the book that's in Latin. It's an old book. She should try to summon another demon. Look at all these strange symbols. They're probably fine. Looks like Latin. It's been a long time since Latin class. God, Latin class was a thing in the 90s. I have friends that took it, yeah. There's n there's no way they still have that in schools, Dude, is well, there? Well, do you want to hear something weird? Sure. In in my school, like, if you were advanced in uh, fifth grade, they would put you in, like, Spanish or French. But if you were, like, not advanced, they enrolled you in Latin class. Really? Which is objectively harder than That's either Spanish or French. So weird to me. Yeah. So weird. And I was always bummed because I, like, wanted to learn Latin. Huh. Oops, sorry, I stepped on the boom mic. <laughs> oh. Right. Back into the secret passage. Were we in that one before? No, it just turned red, so I was like, better click it. Now she's just on the lookout for Yeah, now she's now she's like, I know the signs. It's a good thing she's not telling Don about literally any of this. <coughs> Honestly, man, I would keep a little bit from yeah, that guy, too. Yeah. Um, it might just be me. He seems a little off. <laughs> He's having a bad day. Wait, is this it? What the heck? Hmm. Absinthe. I hear that makes the heart grow fonder. <laughs> Moisture is the essence of wetness. <laughs> um, I don't. Is that the staircase with the giant hole in it? I don't know exactly where I'm supposed to be. I certainly can't help. Hmm. So we did this, right? This looks like a different people. Honestly, I can't keep them straight anymore. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's the chapel. That's the, yes, that's the altar room. Cool. Okay, we're gonna click ahead so we don't have to watch the world's slowest panel closing. And does this just bring you to the altar? Yeah, yep, okay. So we're back here. Hmm. And we were up there. Where do you want to go? I don't know. You know what? Let's pause the episode for one second and I'll figure this out. Hello. Okay, I know what to do. Uh, it didn't take that long. Awesome. No. Thank you, Brian. It's this way. There's. I forgot there's two secret passages in this room. There's oh, the one really? over here. Fuck. Yes. That's next level. It's next level confusing is what it is. But that's fine. We're good. This altar is like secret panel central. It definitely is. There we go. So now we're on the other side of that giant gap? Yes. Maybe? This now, seems good. Now all we have to do is walk down this beautiful large hallway. Remarkably f free of vermin. Yeah. Considering how long it's been unoccupied for. I would definitely get, like, hire a guy to come in and clean out my passages every once in a while. Well, I would too, but everyone here is dead. Yeah, well, that's a good argument. I mean, it's a crypt. No way around it. All right, Adrian, we didn't just need you to look around for 45 more seconds. The player will not be able to click forward. Okay, great. Right, here we are. Okay, so there's Zoltan's... Uh, did we see the grave? outside of this one? We did, right? Yes, that yes. we saw the... Yeah. Exactly. The gate. Honestly, sick crypt. Yeah, pretty good looking. Someone could hang out here for it's pretty crypty. all eternity. All eternity. All eternity. Maureen. No, oh, that's Marie that's O'Dowd. that's Marie. Uh oh. Yeah, not great. Um, not great, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Why don't right. we crowbar open the crypt? Seems like we've got a crowbar. Yep. We've got a hammer. Everything looks like a nail. Or like a uh, mysterious death crypt. Truth. 
Was she buried alive? Whoa. I hope not. If she was, she's going to be very upset when we open this. Yeah. That's good object work. Yeah. Why did you desecrate that crypt? I don't know. Huh. Seemed like the thing to do. It was one of my few options in the room. <laughs> exactly. My, uh, my cursor turned red. Ew. Uh oh. Can, can I has? Can I has, please? No? Okay. All right. Well, why well. don't you hammer her? Nice. Look, I'm all for some light desecration every once in a while. <laughs> Just an evening of corpse desecration under the stars. With the one you love who's turned inexplicably evil. Yeah. All right. Well. Should we Zoltan? Yeah. This is going to be good. You know what? She moved in here. She pays the mortgage. She's earned the right to it's desecrate whatever you crypt what? she I could, finds. I could not agree more. Almost got it. Look, she's a modern 90s woman, and she can desecrate any crypt she wants. Yeah. She doesn't need a man <laughs> telling her that she can't. <laughs> she, she don't need no man to unbury the dead. I respect it. I'm excited to look inside this crypt. Oh, it smells like Carno. <laughs> Old Carno. Show us the goods. Ew. Was he buried in a top hat? That's how I want to go. Awesome. Hmm. To my angel from Marie. That's weird. Because she didn't really like him. So maybe that's Gaston's course. That could be Gaston, because didn't she call Gaston her angel in the gazebo? Yes. So then what happened to Zoltan's body? Dude, I don't know. He might have gotten sucked into hell, question mark? <laughs> There's a lot of possibilities. There really are. Life is choices. <laughs> this has been fun. Let's go. Seems like we could use some kind of, like, exorcism bullshit, right? Yeah, Brian, we people love it. need to get rid it. of that demon. Um, okay, so she died oh. at the ripe old age of 23. Brutal. Which in 1890 was like 73 today. Yeah, more or less. Regina Puchet, the okay. Carnavas House of Bella's 31. Oh, good for her. She died of natural causes. And by natural, I mean he naturally stuffed stuff yeah. down a funnel into her mouth until she died. While possessed. While possessed. Oh, it's the baby. Oh, no. Poor little kid. I don't like that. That's a huge crypt for a baby. Well, they balloon up once you bury them. <laughs> okay, Brian. Let's see what's up here. This In heaven. Stuff. I wonder if this crypt has any tales from it. Mm. Oh, okay. So, yeah, this is what we found outside. Yes. Cool. That explains that. Yep. Can you open it from this side? I don't think so. Would seem unlikely. Boy, the house looks a lot nicer from here. It, You know, from a distance, it seems less possessed. Yeah. <laughs> when you're in a crypt... Other alternatives do feel better. <laughs> That's right, you know? Yeah, my house sucks and my husband is an abusive, possessed asshole, but it's not a crypt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, okay. So really, she's got a lot going for her when you think about it. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Was it this way? Yes. It 
time to open this spooky door. Spook. Here we are. Boom. Okay. Out of the fireplace. <laughs> Into the <laughs> fire. Fireplace. Am I right? <laughs> okay. Um, awesome. Let's right. see. Well, now that we know a little bit more about Marie, we'll go check out her room. Good idea. Go say hi to Mike, the telephone guy. Oh yeah, let's see who's doing. Did we know the phone was broken? Well, yeah, that's why we haven't been able to call anyone. Oh, I they see. said that at the beginning. And town is so far away, we've only been able to drive there 20 times. Hi. Oh, hi. What's up, sexy? Is it I'm just finishing up this job. I'll get out of here Ooh. as soon as I can. Boy, this feels like a porno beginning, doesn't it? Definitely it definitely does. Mike, I want to apologize for Don. He just... He hasn't been himself lately. Possessed by a demon. Oh, you don't have to say nothing. I just don't want to get tangled up in family quarrels, that's all. You know, I'm just going to oil up real quick and get out of here. Also, Spectrum is offering you this one-time offer, 10% <laughs> off on cable. Yep. It's exclusive for possessed households. <laughs> I really think you should take advantage of it. We're offering high-speed internet with 5 MPS per second. <laughs> MBS. Not MBS per second. <laughs> Download speed. Let's check out Murray's room. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep. Something's up with the mirror. There it is. Go look in it. Always with the foggy spirit action. Ben Kingsley? No, it's Gordon Ramsay, dude. Oh, right you are. Who is that supposed to be? That's Zoltan. But like evil Zoltan. I think so. He looked relatively evil in that. Got a real Don vibe. <laughs> Getting Don vibes. Oh, oh, there we go. Um, boy, she just cannot get enough oh, of that rug duster yes. mustache. Look at that. Really get in there. This is my favorite song. Thanks for putting it on. <laughs> I'll see you downstairs in a few minutes, darling. So we can make love at the bottom of the staircase where we're sure to be found. Yeah. Why would he hang out in her room? Terrible move. Yeah. Oh, maybe this is after they thought they killed him. Oh, that's a good point, yes. Dark magic seems rad. Uh-oh. Oh, shiz. God, you sexy elbows! He's lightly grabbing me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is definitely like actor taking care of other actor's neck. Also, there's no way he would not have heard that panel open. It's 1890. Nothing is that quiet. That's true. WD-40 didn't exist then. That's they were only true. on like WD-1. Yeah, everything sounded like chains dragging across <laughs> other chains. Well then. A um, pretty, uh, Freddy kind of vibe from him there, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit of Freddy Krueger, who also was at the top of his game in the 90s. That's true. Yeah, he was uh, kicking ass and taking teens. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Let's get up on out of here. So it's starting to come into focus what's been going on here. Yep. Angel. Oh. Is she saying that to Don? No, that wasn't her. Oh. Gaston? Oh. It's Marie. Gaston? Wasn't this right when Beauty and the Beast came out? This would have been just after. Beauty and the Beast was like 91. It was a good time for Gaston's. It was. It was, it was a Gaston-heavy uh, part yeah. of the world. It was the Gastonissance. <laughs> boom, boom. Let's chat with old Mike again. Oh, nope, can't do it. Well, let's just leave then. He's too busy sexily rolling up his sleeves. 
I mean, he does have great arms. You can't deny that. I mean, that's just obvious. I'm just stating what your eyes are already seeing. Yep. Should we go give that cameo to Lou? That is a good idea. We will go do that right before we uh, check in with uh, our sweet vagrant friends. Who now are our closest allies. Oh. Uh, are, they are you filling up? that full of Santa's toys? Harriet. Oh, um, I see you caught us. Where are you going? Can't you see? We're leaving. We're getting the hell out of here. Why? But Not a single unusual thing has happened. And a place to stay. <laughs> well, uh, I didn't want to say anything, but uh, now that you're here, I saw your hubby last night. And, well, he threatened my boy and me. Said that, uh... He'd make us take a bath. <laughs> he and me would be hanging from the rafters. And I believed him. I saw the look in his eyes. There's something real bad around here. And I can't explain it. But it exists. What exists? Evil. Yeah, I can't hear you when you do that. <laughs> lady, you believe too. Agreed. It just doesn't sound like my Don. Is <laughs> He's only been acting consistent with that for the past two weeks. Is Harriet a coke addict? She sniffs a lot. She really does. Harriet, can't you change your mind about leaving? I'll talk to Don. I'd rather all three of us die at the same time. <laughs> Sorry, me. Gotta go. That's that. Oh, I'll miss you. Cyrus. Huh? You don't want to leave, do you? Well, I'd miss my hay. <laughs> Ma said we got it. Stop your gabbing and get back to work. There's probably fresh cats at the next place we're going to. Yeah. Oh, well, that's it for Harriet and Cyrus. Oh, they're out now? They're out of here. Honestly, smart. Yeah, can't blame them. Can't blame them. Okay, well, let's hop in the car. Go back to Nipwamsit. Yeah, we've got to uh, show the, um, the picture to Malcolm. All right. Do we have to deal with that dog again? No, he loves us because we gave him the bone. Oh, yeah. Dogs have such good memory. <laughs> He's probably still off chewing it. That's how these games work. It's a soup bone, bro. Those last for, like, decades. Honestly? Like, you can give your dog, like, one of those giant, like, oh, femur bones from yeah. a cow, and, and they're just good for, like, a year and a yes, half. those take forever to chew. I've been working on mine for, like, three years. Can't blame you. Malcolm's new best friend. Can Malcolm come out and play very slowly? <laughs> <laughs> yes. What do you want? Well, this. I wish to make Here. love to Malcolm. I wanted to give Malcolm this old photo. <laughs> I found it at the Carnavash estate. Mm -hmm. It's a photo of Malcolm and Carno. See what's written on the back? Ah, uh, yes, he'll love being reminded of this. Malcolm, as a young boy. Remember when his boss murdered Please, at least five people? <laughs> it's a memento. It's well, that does look Just like Malcolm. <laughs> I guess, bird. <laughs> Malcolm wants to use Come on in! <laughs> <laughs> I love that lady. She's like, ugh. Oh, is this the next chapter? Almost. Almost. Oh, we're just changing CDs. Yes. Wait. Did that work? Did that not work? Hold on. Control F4. Okay. Yes. Wow. Good call. All right. We're back. She is here, Malcolm. He comes somersaulting out. Yeah. He'll be here in 35 minutes. <laughs> Wee! 
<laughs> I know it's 1995, but this is still my wheelchair. I was just a young nipper of ten. Cardinal was my hero. Then. Your hero? Yeah. Like the Chad Kroger song. I know what you saw in this picture. Saw? Yeah. A future in close up magic. <laughs> the evil. It's back. And my husband? <laughs> it meant to be too late for you. <laughs> Good luck with all that. What? Yeah, lady. Sit down. I have something. I think he played Jasmine's dad in Aladdin. Really? Yeah, this guy. That oh, voice actor. And his first wife adopted me. I, at that time, he was a good man, respected by his colleagues, loved by his wife, admired by his audiences. But all that changed when he got the book. He gained immense powers through contact with the black forces. Through the book, he unleashed a demon, an entity so evil it had no name, no worldly description. And could be stored in a wooden box. Came to possess the Kano. He started feeding people dirt. Kano <laughs> became like it. He became very powerful. Annoying. And his <laughs> fame and, and, and his wealth increased. But he was cursed. He had loved his wife, Hortensia, and their baby daughter. But all that changed. He, I don't have proof, but I believe he killed them both. I believe he killed all his wives. Malcolm, what happened the night Carno and Marie died? Carno's final days came when Marie took up with his prophet man. His what man? Prop man. Obviously, oh. Marie suspected Carno of committing terrible deeds with herself as his next victim. Together, Marie and Gaston hatched a plan. He had a new act, an amazing feet of escape, but Marie rigged the machine. Carno couldn't escape. They figured it blew him. They blew screened fire onto his face. Ugh. For two weeks, Carno lay in a coma, but then one night he awoke Swearing revenge. Feeling much better. <laughs> I saw Carno drag an unconscious Gaston into his theater. There, from within the secret passages, I watched as Carno shaved his mustache <laughs> and mutilated the poor man, leaving him dead. Then it was Marie's turn. Totally crazed. Nothing but pure revenge on his mind. He just got out of a coma. How could he get her in the chair? Started up that god awful machine. This is dark. Yes, it is. And before my very eyes, 
I fell. I didn't die. I'll never forget. Ooh. The look of shocked surprise on Carlos' face. It was hilarious. I was dying. This was his final heroic act. Fuck you. Oh, no one stabs like Gaston. <laughs> I then saw a demon. That's all I know to call it leave his body and disappear through the theater floor. I knew where it was going. Carno knew it too. My only thought was of the realtor's away, office. I, I hesitated <laughs> when, when I saw Carno going to the same place the demon had gone. Burger King. I rushed back to the hidden passages just in time to see Carno carrying the chest which held that evil muck. Then, just before reaching the chapel, he stumbled and fell for the last time. I saw him cross himself in the Catholic way before dying. I think he was trying to make his peace with God. I'm sure it worked out. Oh yeah, it usually it does. The chest containing that ordered book. It's like trying to do your homework right before class. <laughs> I assume the demon itself and carried it into the chapel. I really don't know what I thought I was doing, but somehow I I felt as if I were containing this cursed evil. I had hoped for the power of reading. Yeah. To leave in the chapel, I I then dragged Carno's body back to his secret chamber. You didn't move the book, but did you? Right. But wait, Carno's not in his tomb. No, 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 that is Gaston Warwick. He, he was so mutilated that they all thought he was Carno. It was funny. I said nothing. I let them think what they wanted. I thought it was rad. And what about the demon? The demon? Oh, that's why I agreed to talk with you. Somehow, it must have been released. Like if someone moved the book, for instance. <laughs> Don. I love what can him. I do? The only answer is the accursed book. Oh, with it, you, you've got to send that, that thing back to where it came from. Back to the other side. Of the Charles River <laughs> to you Cambridge, Massachusetts. <laughs> yes. I thought so. It's a hardcore demon over there. Right. <laughs> Young woman, you're the only one who can do this. Your husband's soul is ensnared. I'm, I'm not sure what I can do or what can be done for him. But if you can somehow get close to the demon make out with it you'll need the book uh, a holy item um, the stone of Hammurabi uh, what sounds easy and yep. the blood of a sentient being now should I be writing this down take the book Oh, wow. cliffhanger. I guess that was a lot of video. Yes. I love that guy's voice. He's a good actor. Yeah, he's great. Okay. All right, then. I'm glad I cut him off in the middle of that. Take the book and good luck to you. <laughs> All right. Well, I might as well go as long as we're here. Yeah. 
Go give that cameo. He go, yeah, give the cameo to Lou. What was it? The blood of a sentient being, which is your your own, I guess. Yes. Uh, the stone of Hammurabi. Yes. Surely that's just lying around somewhere. An ancient Babylonian artifact in Nipwompsit, Massachusetts. Yep. Like a crucifix, for instance? Oh, shit. Excuse me, Lou. Oh, hello, Adrian. I just wanted to thank you for answering all of my pesky questions. I won't bother you again with them. Oh, it's no bother. I'll be dead tomorrow. I just hope I've helped you. Oh, you really have. Don't touch me. I've learned a lot. I'm glad. One more question. Is it possible to love two men at the same time? All right. Hold that thought, Brian. That's right? <laughs> a good question. You have to admit that. Excuse me. Lou? Oh, yes, Adrian. How can I help you? Welcome. I understand you're interested in old cameos. Yes, I am. Well, I found this old Well, cameo cameo's having a 25% off sale for that. <laughs> I thought maybe you might be interested in it. Oh, let me see. I was wondering if maybe you would be interested in trading it for that crucifix over there. Well, sure. Why not? I feel as though I've studied this cameo enough. <laughs> there you go. Since oh, I have great. an encyclopedic knowledge of red couches. All right, I've got she this. She just gave her that $2,200 cross? Well, yeah. I assume because the cameo she probably realized is worth like $35,000. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right, but the point is we got this dope-ass crucifix now, which is very excellent. That's not supposed to be the stone of Hammurabi, is it? No. Okay, good. But it is a Babylonian artifact. It is? I don't know. I'm pretty sure Christianity wasn't around then. Ba uh, Christian Babylonia, Brian? <laughs> Uh, look it up. <laughs> look it up is like the catch-all phrase for like, I don't know what I'm talking about. Do your about. own research. <laughs> I've done my research. Now you do yours. Yeah. I saw it on Google, so... Case closed. Welcome to Nipawampsit. No dying. <laughs> Starting now. Home of a series of unexplained murders a hundred years ago. Have fun. Travel safe. <laughs> and the world's biggest ball of brambles. Yeah. <laughs> All right. There's that sexy mic. Yeah. Sexily sexing the phone. <laughs> You've got a beautiful, new, amazing phone. Okay. Thanks. Whenever I need to call someone, I'll make sure to walk two miles to this part of the house. Maybe I could have your number <laughs> to try it. Uh, Mike, I want to apologize for Don again. He just hasn't been himself lately. But normally, he's a very nice guy. He wouldn't kill anyone. <laughs> yeah, don't even worry about it. It's no big deal. It's time for me to sleeve. You have any trouble, okay? Unless you have trouble with your phone, in which case you can't call me. Thanks. It's amazing how I was able to fix that by staying in the same location for six hours. He's good. That's Mike. Classic Mike. Oh, he's fucking dead now. Oh, totally. He's gonna get done. No! Yes! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that mid 90s squatch sound. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's very, uh, Bob from Twin Peaks right now. Yeah. Henry Silva. Yes. All right. Okay, let's do it. Final Move chapter. On. Here we go. We're going. It's been a big Saturday. 3.30 p.m. The witching hour. Ho oh, ho. Oh, thank you, Adrian. Finally packing up. Oh, this isn't good. It's time for his final show.
They've both got a lot going on in their lives right now. You know, he's busy. Yeah. I want to see inside his dark room. <laughs> you know, for uh, an evil being that was in prison for 100 years, that demon sure adjusted to life in the 90s pretty darned fast. I agree. Learned to use computers. Yeah, got right on AOL. Aww. Our first piggyback ride. Do you remember that, Don? Before you were evil incarnate? Back when you didn't wear demon clown makeup and you just had cool John Lennon sunglasses? <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Man. Full respect to her. This game would suck balls if she could not act. Yep. You know? 100%. She's really crushing it. Yeah. Not quite as convinced by Don, though. D one degree less. But, he is insane. Yeah, you gotta give him that. I have, I've never known anyone who's possessed by a demon and insane, so... Also, it's amazing that that demon still wants to do magic. Like, it can do real magic, but it wants to do, like, carnal yeah, magic. Yeah, yeah, card tricks. That is a commitment to the craft. Pick a card! <laughs> <laughs> I can't go like this. I can't go like this? To where? I gotta get my coat. I gotta do something. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, like, escape. Well, she still loves him. Who wouldn't? <laughs> He's hot as hell. I mean, it's been a pretty precipitous drop for the guy. You know what? It's true. Like, he was totally normal, like, ten days ago. Yep. So, I can understand. Then, honestly, through her fault, by unleashing that demon from its ingenious and secure location <laughs> under a book. Yeah. She kind of did this to Don. That is true. I mean, he was kind of a tool before, but, like, not much. There's a piece of glass. Ooh, the baby's picture shattered. Did you uh -oh, notice that? I do see that. Odd to keep the picture of a dead baby from the previous owner up in the house, but we all make got our their thing. decorative choices. Yeah, that's right. Okay. It was a '90s nostalgia <laughs> for the 1890s. Yeah. And the yeah, I guess that's true. Malcolm wouldn't be able to be alive if this game was in 2023. Yeah. He'd be 125 years old. That's right. Do you remember the 100-year-old dead baby craze of the 90s? Ugh. Do I? Grunge was in. <laughs> Hair metal was out. Ancient dead babies? In. <laughs> All right, let's go check out the big scary theater. Yep, seems like a good place to go. Yep. Well, I feel we're, we're coming to the end of the game now, so it's time for everything to culminate. Yep. That's always a good sign. Yeah. Love to see this. It's a good thing they kept that murder chair up for a hundred years. Yeah. I'm sure it swings well. Like me. Nice. Insert, we can't read what it says either, Adrian. <laughs> insert one soul. Yeah. I used to love these things when oh, I was a kid. They're so great. They were interesting. Uh, the Incredible Kano and the Horrifying Throne of Terror. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a most spectacular show. I realized I had a lot more time to yeah. read these. <laughs> mm-hmm. You will witness an extraordinary performance the likes of which have never been attempted before. Has never been attempted before. Did he say defy Jeff? 
<laughs> you can't defy Jeff. What are you doing, Marie? Uh, why? I saw you with him last night. Admit it, you're still seeing him, aren't you? No. You're out of your mind. Honey, <laughs> is it time to light him on fire? Ladies and gentlemen. When I say the secret phrase, light him on fire, <laughs> I want you to light Carno on fire. Yay. Must have been fun to be in the room when they were doing Foley. Yeah, like just cheering. For my first trick, I will burn alive. <laughs> Trust you, love you. <laughs> that is a tough break when, like, you're a magician and your wife also happens to be your helper and her lover also happens to be your prop guy. You gotta give it to him. He's in a he's in a real pickle. He's in a blind. And now he's bound. And he's performing and he's like calling her out on he's this. Going to hell. Oh damn. Oh, he's about to, too. Mm. We'll talk later. Love you. This is a hell of a first trick. Uh, fucking warm yeah, me up with some juggling. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> right. I, I mean, love. I love. Am I wrong? But does that look like a Ninja Brian? Face? It does. It does. And I love the blue screen flames. Yes. I mean, he is a murderer five times over, but this is a rough way to go. Seems fine. That's a rough last thing to say. <gasps> Boy, impressive that he survived that in retrospect. You would think, uh, being lit on fire and a blade to the face. <laughs> and horizontally guillotined. I suppose that's vertical. But yeah, that's no fine. one kills like Gaston. <laughs> no one dies like Gaston. Okay, um, that was fun. I'm glad she went through that. Yeah, she needed to see that. <laughs> she, she, she's had a fun week. <gasps> Wake me up when October ends. Am I right? <laughs> Our snowman. <gasps> she gave that to him on Halloween. She did. Ha 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 ha. So he's been wearing the vest. Oh yeah. That sexy ass vest. Oh Don, you are definitely losing your shit. You'd think she'd hear him like cackling in the distance as he evilly plots to murder her. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know, he's pretty subtle, Don. Yeah, no, he, he does his own thing. That wacky Don. He's definitely in his Carno era. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time to confront him. Hell yeah. To the dark room? To the dark room, my friend. Because now, I mean, now Don's a killer. Yeah. He killed Handsome Mike, the telephone yep. gigolo. <laughs> Don, are you wearing your cape? <laughs> Don, just gonna save it. Yeah. Things start to get real wacky around this point. Knock once if you're evil, Don. Oh, ho, ho. last CD. You know it. Don, are you playing a woodblock in here? 
You promised me no more light percussion. <laughs> I really like your photography. Oh shit. Well, that's not good. Yeah, we got a seven wall up. <laughs> Was that all pictures of her? I can't tell, are they? Yeah, with her head cut off. Uh oh. That's not good. That's bad. Uh, you know, let's let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Okay. He might have a good reason. You're for right, this. you're right. You like my work? Oh my god. <laughs> well, technically we did say till death. It's a wonderful thing. But the head is useless. Ah! You were a very good subject, Adrian. And you cooperated with me very well. Ah! I think I'm gonna call Mike. Oh shit. Duh. Gah. Yes, the music. No! Duh. Oh. The silver. Sulfuric acid, bitch! Eat it! Oh, there we go. Gotta grab did the Did you do that or did she do that? Uh, no, I did that. Uh. Oh, dear. Oh, this is not good. Did you lose? I don't know. I can't remember. Again, I'm willing to let him, like, give him the benefit of the doubt on this and just see where this goes. <laughs> Everyone wears great designer jeans in this yeah, family. it's the 90s, baby. Uh-oh. Oh, no, that's not good. Oh, oh! no! Okay, uh, let's wow. try again. I think we should. Wow. Try again from... Review? I, I would... I don't know. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, so you can do something here. Wow, that was violent. That was. So surely you can click on something, yeah. right? Yeah. Hold on, I, have, I don't have the ability yet. I like that he's still wearing his wedding ring. Oh, the snowman. Nice. Stab! Yeah, right. Look, honey. Look. This is no man. Remember this? Remember when you gave that to me? It looks just like you. <laughs> oh, shit. Suck it, Don! Boom, baby! Oh! You got donned! Yeah. You just got Adrian, son! <laughs> oh, man. Those shackles are pretty easy to get out of. Yeah. No! Oh, man. Maybe the carnal will believe it was natural causes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, what happened was we moved into this house with a functional guillotine. <laughs> <laughs> and one thing led to another. <laughs> and yada yada yada. Have you ever done guillotine play? <laughs> well, you know how it goes. Okay, things are I things are bad now. Chasing are... the ultimate high. God, I can't believe how violent her death was. It was pretty nuts. That poor puppet. Filled with gelatin. And also briefly it's on screen. Yeah, it's just like enough for you to be like, oh my god, and then it's off. Yeah. Oh good. There's the demon. A demon. So happy I just murdered my husband and now I have to immediately deal with a demon. No wonder her hair is getting stressed out looking. She needs yeah. Pantene. Alright. Pro V. Two I was just one. about to say Pro V. Absolutely. Is this good? This seems fine. Are we gonna see a cool demon? <laughs> We're gonna see a demon! 
We're gonna see a 1995 computer demon. Like a Spawn-style demon? You better believe it. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, I love it. This rules. I know, this is great. Uh. Time to go! Oh boy, we're- we're- We're demon. definitely glitching now. You know what they say about demons? They're easy to run away from. Absolutely. Oh my god, this computer's really struggling with this. It's just like Dio said it would be. <laughs> Jump, Adrian! Nope. Wait. Nope. Uh-oh. Maybe... Um... Did you... Oh dear. Was this bad? I this think this is bad. bad. This might be bad. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, let's try that oh. one again. God, was she made of watermelons? That sounded terrible. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> I'm just gonna glitch into this hallway and quickly run this way. Yeah, it's like Dragon's Lair. I know, it really is. God, this totally turns into Dragon's Lair at this point. What can you do? I think I have to jump on this part of the pipe. There it is. Oh. Get it, girl. Lay that pipe. Yeah! There you go, nice. See the jump she can get off those mid-90s okay, yeah. Reeboks? Oh, good. I can get a refreshing drink. Adrian, go! You know, if you think about it, pee is holy water, because it comes from your pee hole. Brian, I don't fully understand that, but you know what? I also don't have time to talk to you about yeah, we're it. We're in the middle of a fight for our lives against evil. Nah, certainly seems that way. Adrian? Let's get a move on. Those are some good demon sounds. Yeah. Wait, doesn't she have the book? She does. So it's like coming for her. Yeah, oh yeah, it's after her. Because it wants that book. It sure was taking its time for a while. Well, it's tough to run on a blue screen. Gotta get the treadmill out. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, and now it's coming this way. Oh yes, slime. Um... Oh, yeah! That I love rules! It. I love it. Surely a door will stop this. Okay. Uh. Um. Go back outside, it's probably fun. Yeah, right. I can't, uh. Oh dear. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. Seems fine. Adrian, honey? Oh! Oh my Whoa. god! <laughs> oh no! Oh! That was among the grossest I've ever seen. But what's his next career move? <laughs> I forgot to bar the door. Okay! Oh, yeah. That'll surely stop him. Barring I'm the door is a good idea. Strong enough to rip your skull in half. Let's get let's get moving. Let's put that bar in the door. God man. That poor Muppet. <laughs> that she turned into for a second. That is a good demon. I love it. Wait, what? Where was this? We're, we're, we're down- we're down in the- the secret- the annals. Here's the altar. I guess this is-, is I guess this is Zoltan's body. Yeah. Let's put the book down. That's definitely a good idea. How are we supposed to know that cross was the whatever of Hammurabi? Oh, that wasn't the thing. Oh. We're just gonna do some light reading here yep. while we've got some time. Dagwood... Dawson... Demon. Oh God, it's <laughs> you remember this? Idiot. 
And Latin Jehovah begins with an I. <laughs> Circulum magicum. Magic cum? Boy, it is it is just an evil sounding Inside. language, isn't it? Yeah. Inside circle. Look. Magic circle. Okay. Yep, seems good. Already in a circle. Nice. Ponate fascinum in paganum. Put O L O Crosso. You know. Place. Booko. Talisman in open book page. I was right. The talisman. talisman. Time to check that dead body, baby. <laughs> she cursed! Adrian! This is no time to lose your sense of good language. Oh shit. <laughs> Thank you? Well, don't say Zoltan never did nothing for you. Oh, okay. Okay, on it goes. Is that the Hammurabi thing? Yes, there it is. You know what? Very fortunate. Blood of a sentient being. Yes, correct. Super fast. Get your blood on that thing. Oh, I see. We're going to use the glass to cut ourselves, right? Better believe it, baby. Right, yeah. It doesn't need to be gender specific. Let's just get some blood on that yeah. book. Can I do this? Adrian, I mean, you've been through some stuff already. You just guillotined your husband. Yeah. I think this part's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Owies? <laughs> I would have gone way deeper with that yeah, cut. Yeah, straight through the palm. Like, yeah, it's, it's like time is of the essence here. We don't have time for the drippies. Oh, God. Oh, my God. What, was she giving herself an allergy test? Like... There we go. Yeah, okay. Good stuff. Great. Good, good. All is going according to plan here. Tenete, Hawk Vatum, Super Fascinum. Call Darth Vader super fast. Et Contate, Hawk Carmen. Hit demon with hammer. Blessed item over talisman. Listen to the gin blossoms. The blessed item. Could you imagine getting this far and not having the crucifix? Yeah. What a drag. Classic 90s video game, though. Yeah, and you've already saved it to this point? Okay. That definitely sucks. Boop! The power of tiny Christ compels you! <laughs> Green goodness is happening. This looks solid. What happened like, to the Hammurabi thing? What happened to the what? The artifact? That was the thing that was in the dead body's hand, the talisman. Well, I know, but did it get absorbed by the page? Yeah. Oh, I see. Uh, it's right behind me, isn't it? <laughs> Duck! Yeah. <laughs> Can't come in the circle, jerk. You said circle, jerk. Nice. Yes! There we go. Suck it! Hell yeah. Mm. Adrian Power. Reading Whoa. sucks. I'd like to hear. I've had the time of my life play right now. <laughs> oh, she did it. 
And now she gets to walk happily out of the house. The demon is contained in another dimension. And she will have some stuff to talk about with her therapist for sure. And now to go back to my true love, the realtor. (laughs) The coolest person I've ever met. You did it, Adrian! Yeah, You survived! Woo! We did it, B! Hell yeah. That's game, baby! Nice. What a spooky, weird 90s game. Truly odd. I really loved it. Good job, Roberta Williams. And that is the end until Phantasmagoria 2. Oh, we have to listen to this song. A yeah. Puzzle of Flesh. Hell yeah. Fantastic. Lurking in the demon of night. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Oh. (laughs) This is is amazing. amazing. (laughs) I agree. What? Whose phone is trying to connect to the TV? All our devices are too smart. Mark Siebert was a musician on a ton of Sierra stuff. Oh yes, I recognize that name. Yeah. Who wrote this song? I don't. I have to know. They surely. Oh, there it is. Take a stand. Wow. This is like some. 80s movie. Oh, fuck yes! Yeah! Oh my god, this is great. This is great. Oh my gosh. This is credits music if I've ever heard. I know, it's like... If you ask AI to make credits music from the 90s, I feel like it would spit this out. Listen to the growl on her voice. I know, it's incredible. She's good. Boy, this game must have been fun to make. It seems like it. So I was reading, while well, we took a break in the middle of playing it, mm-hmm. some stores wouldn't carry it because it was too violent. Oh, of course, yeah. I mean, some of that stuff at the end is really gory. Yeah. Well, and the uncool stuff we cut out as yeah. well. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It, it's It's... It's a game for grown-ups, for sure. Victoria Morisol, great job. Morcel, maybe. God, all these people are awesome. I think the Harv's name was Hoke Howell. I think that that name sounds so familiar. This sounds like late period ghost. (laughs) It's got a big white snake vibe to it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Big 80s chorus. What does that sound like? Everything. Yeah, yeah the like, theme song from Caddyshack too. Uh, well, Higher and Higher is, yes, also that. Higher and Higher is also Wet Hot American Summer, right? Uh, oh, yeah, it might be in there. Oh, yeah, maybe maybe I am thinking Wet Hot American Summer. Yes. Caddyshack 2 is another, exactly yeah. that type of song. Yes. Wow. You know, not actually like a gigantic crew of people working on this. Yeah. I wonder how long it took to film all the blue screen stuff. I don't know. Probably a week. Maybe. Maybe even less. Maybe they shot this whole thing in like two days. I mean, because so much of it is yeah, uh, post. Oh, listen to that guitar sound. Yeah. That's what they call in the business, tone. Yeah, that's chunky. We forgot to look up who the uh, realtor was. The animals were handled. Oh, Oh, yeah, all up on the top register. Yep. With the meadly, meadly, meadly. Wow, Brian. We did it. This was uh, a real pleasure. It really was. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah. I, I hope you all enjoyed this... Super bizarre, 
chapter in gaming history, but like a wonderfully bizarre one. Yes, I will do these anytime. I love these yeah. weird Sierra games. Uh, Sierra was the best. I just, especially like this time of it, the when they were like really getting experimental. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know we've talked about it. Uh, I don't know if we've ever talked about it on Game Grumps. Uh, have you played Manhunter? Oh, Manhunter New York? Yes. Yeah, that scared the shit out of me, me too. when I was a kid. That's a, that's a weird one, too. This would have terrified me. Oh, man. All we right. did it. Yay. We did it. Thank you for joining us, everyone. Thank you, everybody. That was Phantasmagoria. Uh, thank you, Roberta Williams, for yep. all of your wonderful wild games. Uh, everybody get ready for new Ninja Sex Party stuff coming at you soon. Oh, yeah? Uh, Going to have a new album out this year and uh, lots of other stuff. Yeah. All right. Take good care, everyone. Warm fuzzies. Happy dreams. Bye. Bye.